How does my background look in my room? It's messy, not really seasonally accurate, but it'll do for now. Fall themed attire, fall themed blanket, fall themed dog. Oh, he's so soft. I love him. I just want you to know that I'm like 10% happier when I'm hugging this. But anyways, hi, how are you? My name's Beta and today I want to talk about a cool new thing that furry conventions have utilized in the past year that potentially could be making your furry convention experience a whole lot better. And the best part about this quality of life change, even though it's so small, and minuscule, and you might not have even heard about it, this has had such a positive impact on people who might want a very specific social experience at a furry convention they're attending. It has helped me tremendously, especially with having social anxiety and a bit of social awkwardness. I'm not able to fully communicate exactly what I'm feeling for a social experience to begin with, and same thing goes with many other people. And furries, as much as they are social and welcoming, can sometimes assume someone else might also be as social and welcoming as they are, when that might not be what they want to do to begin with. So that's why this little implementation that furry conventions have used has done so many wonders for people. But the item in question that I want to talk about today is none other than the color-coded communication badges. If you've been to a furry convention at any point in 2022, you have probably seen someone wearing one of these. Whether it's the green circle, the yellow triangle, or the red square, you've probably seen one of these badges before, but you might not know where they came from or what they mean. So to understand that, we're going to have to go back to a tweet that MFF put out right before their convention in November 2021. Do you struggle with starting conversations or big crowds? These new for 2021 optional badges can be attached to your regular con badge to help express your communication preferences quickly and non-verbally. We adapted these guidelines provided by the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network. So for the green circle, it says, come talk to me. A person wearing a green badge is actively seeking interaction. They may have trouble initiating conversations, but it's okay to come up and start a conversation with them. Okay, so you're feeling very social and you're encouraging people to come say hi to you. That is the message that you are sending if you were to wear one of these badges. Now, as for the yellow triangle, which looks more like a yield sign, says, do I know you? I kind of like saying that in a sassy voice. Do I know you? A person wearing a yellow badge only wants to talk to people they recognize. Unless you've met this person face-to-face -face before, please don't start a conversation with them. If they start talking to you, you're welcome to talk back with them. Okay, so you're giving off the energy that you might not want to be approached by someone you don't know. I'm very much in that case sometimes when I'm going around furry conventions. Sometimes I want to get from point A to point B and sometimes run into a friend that I've seen before. Or you might not be feeling comfortable with meeting someone new if they were to initiate it. On the other hand, if someone who is wanting to initiate a conversation with you is wearing this badge, they still want to talk to you. It's not that they're feeling sort of eh on the social scale. They're just feeling more comfortable around people they know. And that is more than okay. And that is something that I myself feel a lot of the time. So if you see me at a convention, you'll usually see me wearing this badge. Now going on to the last one, which sort of looks like a stop sign to me, says, not right now. A person wearing a red badge does not want anyone to talk to them. They may approach others to talk, in which case it's okay to respond. Unless you have been told otherwise, please don't start interacting with them. Okay, so it's more so an amplified version of just don't talk to me unless I'm talking to you in the first place. And also says you can pick these up at FurFest 2021 Accessibility Services. What I also love about these badges is that not only is it the color, but the shape that sort of identifies how you're feeling socially. Like anyone looking at a green circle would think like, oh, go, you're, you're good for social stuff. You want to talk to people. The yellow triangle, which which resembles sort of a yield sign, it means you might be a bit wary. Meanwhile, the red square kind of resembles like a stop sign, like an octagon. So you're not really feeling social at the moment. But either way, Midwest Fur Fest started these badges back in 2021 just to try something new. Other conventions have been adding them into their events and they've been so, so useful. Also, apparently there was some drama revolving around these badges back when they were first revealed. I also saw some people commenting saying, oh, why would you need one of these badges if you're going to a social furry convention? Even if you might not use these badges specifically, it might help you understand others who might want a specific social situation to happen. Like if I see someone going around with the yellow communication badge, you know, if I don't know them, I probably won't initiate a conversation with them just out of their own comfortability. I've gone around cons wearing these badges and they've been lifesavers for me, let me tell you. During the day, I'll wear one of these green badges, but later at night, I'll either wear the yellow or the red one, mainly because I'm either inebriated or zooted or I'm just trying to spend time with friends. And the funny thing is this became a trend for other furry conventions to pick up in the future. I can't remember which con this came from, but I know that this is very different from the MFF one because instead of the, do I know you? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that every time. I'm sorry. Instead, you have, hmm. But this is relative to the yellow communication badge, obviously. And it reads as follows. Have I met you face to face before? If not, please don't start a conversation with me. And these badges are just as awesome. I'm glad that whichever con did this added them as something that you can get. Now, even though these badges are great and all, I do have some small critiques on how they could be potentially better. Specifically, the ones that conventions give out. Like, obviously, I'd like a little bit of a higher quality one rather than something made out of paper. It's kind of flimsy. The other critique I have is that the text on it is not something that I would personally have a lot of. Like, as much as having text to explain what this badge is supposed to mean is great and all, most of the time, people don't want a thesis statement before saying hi to someone. I guess another small thing, which really might not matter, is that maybe have different color-coordinated ones in the future. Say, like, there's a yellow fursuiter or, like, a yellow cat. Obviously, a badge like this would probably blend in with the fur and the fursona in general. And also, just to show you that conventions have been utilizing it more and more this year, MFF brought it back for this year. Returning this year are color communication badges. Please stop by registration, info desk, accessibility, or operations if interested. Okay, so you can pick it up at, like, several different places now. This is awesome. Make sure to pick up the whole set, two cards, front and back, so you're ready to go if your preferences change. Oh, wait a minute. Is the little badge for the con supposed to go above this? Oh, that's smart as hell. And the part that I haven't even gotten to yet is that even though MFF and these other conventions are utilizing these color communication badges, other vendors in the community are using them too. As an example, Papaya Badger, who I came by recently, is also creating higher quality acrylic versions of the color communication badges. And there are many more here than just the three we saw before. Does that say respectfully fuck off? <laughs> that is awesome. I want that badge now. But yeah, Papaya Badger, they came up on my timeline recently and I saw these badges that they were putting together. I'm like, holy shit, is it 3D printed? No, it's not because it has a shiny material on the exterior. And that's what made me think this is laser cut acrylic. My inner engineer is thriving right now. I want to be right for once. But either way, I saw these badges making the rounds on Twitter and I was impressed. I had to do a video on this and highlight what Papaya Badger is doing here, which I think they have plenty more on their website. Yeah. So if you go to the papayabadger.com, you'll see plenty here that you can actually order. I know they're going to be selling at Further Confusion, which is the next furry convention that I will be at, by the way, FC 2023. But they'll be there as well. And I think they'll probably be selling a bunch of these. But let me go over a bunch of them because I'm sure they have more than what we saw in that picture. Ask before hugs. Please be patient with me. Social anxiety. Be patient. Yes, hugs. Please hug me or hug gently. Ask before hugs. No hugs. Please don't touch me. So you got different options for that. Hearing impaired and low visibility. This would be great for me in fursuit because I just, I can't see much in my German Shepherd fursuit. And I also can't hear much in general. Sometimes you have silent suitors. That works too. You have deaf consent badge, role play, leave me alone, please. Do not interact. So it's a bit more stern than the last couple of badges. Like, hey, not feeling social at the moment, but it still gets the point across. And then you have the pictures one. Not right now, I'm on break for, you know, people wanting to suit around and not be getting pictures. Now that's what I call anxiety. <laughs> This is awesome. I love their humor too. So yeah, they've got a bunch of these badges here that you can order online for like no more than 10 bucks. Or if you're at a furry convention, you probably get it for cheaper since there's no shipping, which I will definitely be picking up one of these at FC when I see them, which I guess this leads me on to the next thing I want to talk about. How these small badges are just so useful because we've talked about my stories in the past with weird interactions that I've had where these badges have come in clutch. Because in this video, it's not just about selling these badges or like selling the idea of them, but also just making you all aware that these exist because the more people know about them, the more you'll be able to recognize others who will be using them. Because think about it. You might've seen these badges in the past, but you don't know what it means. You just see a yellow triangle and that's it. But at least now you know that the core three color coded communication badges, they insinuate some level of wanting to be social. So at least you can go into the next furry convention knowing that something like this is a thing. And who knows that could be the deal breaker for someone's convention experience. You don't really know if someone's feeling socially anxious or socially worn out or might just not want to interact with people, whether they're in fursuit or not, or they're just going around the con doing whatever makes them happy. Understanding that sort of boundary with the social interaction might potentially make their furry convention experience a whole lot better. On the other hand, though, not abiding by these badges could potentially, you know, ruin someone's day or sour their experience overall, which in this case, it's not the convention's fault. It's just people being social, furries being social, assuming a bit 
too much, maybe not fully knowing. And people would really respect it, me included, if when you see these badges, you just abide by it. And there's nothing wrong with being like, oh, sorry, I didn't see the badge. You gotta keep in mind as well, people aren't gonna be as social as you might be. You know, you might want them to be like, oh, hey, I'm not really feeling social at the moment. I don't really want to talk right now. Thank you, though. Some people might not want to do that. I might not want to do that. I've had times in the past, which again, it's not a me problem. It's other people's problems where someone's wanted to say hi or talk or get a picture. And I'm like, not right now. I got to go and do something or not right now. I'm not really feeling it. And they turn it into, oh, beta brushed me off. See, that's where badges like this could potentially make that situation a lot easier on both parties. Some furries can assume that people want hugs or people want to talk or chat or meet new people when that might not necessarily be the case. And obviously you can, if you are initiated with that in the first place, communicate and say, hey, you know, not feeling like a hug right now, not feeling like talking right now or meeting someone right now. It also has that aspect of like awkwardness of being in that situation. You know, the other party might feel bad or they might react improperly. Now, if they see the badge beforehand saying, hey, you know, not up to talk, not up for hugs, ask first or something like that, that would potentially get rid of the whole awkward situation that would follow. But either way, I just wanted to highlight these badges today because I find them to be really cool. And if anything, if you're watching all the way through this, thank you first off. And also, at least you're more informed in the future of knowing, hey, maybe someone might have one of these badges and you know how to interact with that in the future. Because as much as furries, you know, live on social media and Twitter and all that, in person, some people have different levels of wanting to be social and different comfortabilities. And abiding by that in the best way possible is honestly just, it, it's nice to see. And that's all I could really ask for from this. So either way, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments if you are going to use badges like this in the future. Or if you have a good experience either using the badge or someone else you know using the badge, let me know as well. I like hearing these cute little stories with like nice endings and whatnot, especially with regards to stuff that I talk about. Be sure to go and check out Papaya Badger if you want to buy one of these uh, badges. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I'm just promoting something that I find to be neat and useful. If you also want to support more of these videos in the future, be sure to check out my Patreon. Link will be in the description. I'm trying to add some new tiers and rewards to that, so any suggestions that I could get for that is also appreciated. But yeah, if you want to support me on Patreon, it would mean the world to me. But that about does it for me. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and as always, stay life jacket. Take care.